Hello everyone. I am Madhumita Sanya. I am the technical product manager for High Speed Surdis at Synopsys. We are here at PCI SIG DevCon event. It's in Santa Clara Convention Center. We are uh, collaborating with the ecosystem instrument vendors as well as cable connector vendors and showcasing our Gen 6 and uh, beyond uh, dem demonstrations in this uh, event. And here we are exactly showcasing our 128 gigabits per second, a look ahead to the future even beyond Gen 6 demonstration jointly with Tektronix equipment. As you know, PCI SIG has ratified the Gen 6 spec in January of 2022 and the compliance workshops haven't started yet. So you, here we are going one step ahead and showcasing the 128 gigabits per second PAM4i. So as you see in that under the purple box, our uh, evaluation board is inside that and it's uh, sending PRBS pattern directly to this Tektronix test, test equipment. So here we are looking at the graphical interface and showcasing the excellent PAM4 eyes. It has, as you can see, it's wide open, has very good linearity among the three eyes. And all we know about uh, PCI Gen 7, which is only at 0.3 spec, it's, it's only, it will be in PAM4 uh, modulation techniques. And this PAM4 eye at 128 gigabits per second is showcasing very good linearity, very low jitter and good RLM. We are at Anit Su's booth. We are showcasing here world's first PCI Gen 6 receiver link training test along with Anit Su's BART. So the BART as well as the EVP has already been calibrated with electronic scope. So in my far left hand side, you can see the stressed calibrated eye, PAM4 wide open eye. So let's focus on the actual demonstration itself. So here the BART, Anritsu's BART is acting as a host and it's sending the stressed eye pattern through this ISI channel here. So this is the worst case 33 dB and it's going to synopsis end-to-end -end solution with phi and controller. So the receiver is equalizing the stressed pattern and it's looping back through the controller as well as uh, the PCS and the controller and coming back to the phi transmitter again and the transmitter is getting the uh, signal back to the BART here. So as you can see in the GUI itself, so it starts from Gen 3, it's showcasing here from Gen 3. So with Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3, uh, equalization has been completed, same as Gen 4, Gen 5 and finally Gen 6. So as you can see, Gen 6, all Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3 recovery EQ has been completed. And uh, the spec itself calls for 1E-6 for the first bit error rate. And it's here in the graphical interface, you can see that all of these tests have been passed. And basically what we are showcasing here, the world's first receiver link training test has been completed through all generations. Uh, as well as the Gen 6. We are at Keysight booth. We are showcasing here PCI Gen 6 receiver compliance testing with Keysight's uh, equipments. So looking more closely in the demonstration itself. So the BART here is transmitting PRBS 31 pattern and it's going to the ISI channel. The ISI channel has the worst case um, insertion loss and the total insertion loss is 33 dB. It's going to the synopsis evaluation board, which is located inside this purple box here. So the receiver is basically equalizing the whole channel and then it's showing a zero bit error rate on the graphical user interface. And the, the graphical interface there is showing wide open PAM4 eyes with the pre ADC histogram as well as the post DSP equalized histogram with zero bit error rate and uh, on the graphical interface here it's showing the transmitter pattern so and the transmitter uh, PAM4 pattern I characteristics so the SNDR here is showing 37.56 which is much better than the spec.
We are at GRL booth. Here we are showcasing our silicon proven PCIe Gen 6 IP with GRL software. We are showcasing the receiver stress testing with along with the bar, Android Su boards and Tektronix scope. Taking a closer look at the demonstration itself, we are showcasing here PCIe Gen 6 best receiver testing. As you were looking at the monitor here, this is showing the receiver calibration with the long channel and uh, across all the jitters spec here from 33 kilohertz, 1 megahertz, 10 megahertz to 100 megahertz. And as you can see, this is the stress jitter voltage test with the long channel and all tests have been completed. So the BART is sending the PRBS pattern through the ISI channel. The total uh, loss in the ISI channel is 32 dB and it's going to the 5 Gen 6 silicon proven evaluation board. The board is located under this uh, blue uh, header and the receiver is uh, basically equalizing the whole channel and uh, it's basically, it is getting stressed by the pattern and with the jitter that I just mentioned before. And as you can see in the GUI here, the GUI is showing a wide open eye and the bit error rate is excellent. It's uh, three orders of magnitude better than the spec. We are also showing the ADC histogram and post DSP equalized uh, uh, histogram as well. We are at Teledyne Lacroix booth. We are demonstrating here our silicon proven PCI Gen 6 IP with Teledyne Lacroix oscilloscope. So as you know, PCI Gen 6 have 10 preset settings and here we are varying the preset settings and uh, showing the corresponding PAM4i characteristics. So in this case, in the GUI graphical interface, we are showcasing the Q0 preset and the worst preset and showcasing the PAM4 characteristics, for example, the SNDR and the RLM, which is multiple times better than the spec. Thank you for watching.